Hey, thanks for joining the channel again. This is a super quick video in my kitchen because it's freezing in my garage. I'm gonna put on this uh, 3M tape, this 3M protective tape on the bike frame itself. Shouldn't be a very hard job, pretty quick. So I've got my trusty 3M tape. I've got a sprayer. I've got some quick little guys here just, just to push that tape against the frame real nicely. All right, so as you see right here, this is the 3M tape that I'm going to be using. I didn't get it too crazy. It's like four inches wide. I can't remember the exact, what was it? Four inches by 54 inches. So it's not too, too bad at all. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to measure it out first and then I will, uh, I will cut it and I will peel it and I will put it on. All right, we're going to use some good old painter's tape to tape that 3M tape to the tube and we'll mark it and then we'll cut it. Spray it on here, we'll get the frame all nice and wet. I've got some just some warm water and some soap in here. Put that on there. So I've test fitted this. Let's hope this works. I've done two inches. I even cut little notches here, just so it'll bend better. I don't want it to like get uh, all all binded up and then get air bubbles and stuff. So let's try this. Let's see if it works. If not, this might be a failed video attempt. <laughs> we'll see what happens. One looks like it's going on a bit better since I cut it, made it way more narrow. I mean, it's not perfect, but again, it's just to stop. If I throw this over the back of my pickup truck or the tailgate or something, just don't want it to get all destroyed. And I'll do the I'll do the back part separately, just because it's way easier. This is a little bit over more on my left side than my right, but beggars can't choose. It's on, I don't see any, I don't see any uh, air bubbles, so that's good. Oh, sorry, I lied. I see a couple. Using this plastic little guy here to get the air bubbles out. Again, I don't want to, it doesn't have to look perfect. I just want it to protect the bike, that's all. Just to protect it. As you can hear, I don't know if the camera's picking up, you can hear the air just coming out as I, as I go down this thing. Oh wow. Okay, so I found a really good technique. Just go straight down the down tube, man. And anything that's caught. Oh shit. Spoke too soon. Spoke far too soon, right? <laughs> bubble out right here. I got two. Two air bubbles out of this whole thing. And of course they're right where you can see them. I could use a pin prick maybe to get those out. Maybe over time, I'll, I'll come out. I'm not 
Sure. Maybe, uh, maybe that'll just come out after it dries. Same with this one. If not, I can always poke a hole in it. Okay. not even though uh there we go that's as good as she's gonna get for now all right i'll do this top part up here really get her nice and wet Go. Get that all nice and down. Okay, my trusty plastic pusher outer thinger. I want to be careful those edges. You don't want to like pull it up as it starts to dry. Because it dries pretty darn fast. I'm in the I'm in my kitchen. <laughs> But the patio door is right there, so all the sun is just coming in and beating down on me. I'm dying. I had a sweater on, now I'm down to like a, a track pants and a t-shirt. I'm dying. So this is drying out really fast, which is nice because you don't have to worry about waiting for it or whatever. So I'm just kind of like gently helping the water off, making sure I don't have any air pockets or air bubbles in this thing. Really gently going down it, super gently. There go. And as it dries, you'll start to see, you'll start to see underneath this 3M tape, you'll see the bubbles like appear as, as, as it dries. And you want to really quickly work those out before it dries even more. It doesn't have to look perfect, like I'm not going for a perfect looking set up because this is like 15 bucks off Amazon but I want it to look nice I don't want air bubbles all over the place but what's nice is once you have this done it should protect the bike a little bit from any sort of like chaos from rocks or roots or like I said just throw it in over your over your tailgate if you're gonna do what I do to transport your bike so it leaves me one little spot on the curve right here All right, this is the last section, and that's going to be right here. So I've done three separate little spots here, just to make it. So I'm going to, I cut that as well for the, the bend and the tube. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, so far so good. Oh, okay. So you're gonna have a little bit of separation between these two, but at least there's some tape there across. So hopefully, hopefully that'll help. But this is right, right where it, it bends. So I'm hoping that this will just, the fact that I've cut the slits in and stuff it'll help I hope just massaging it out just massaging it out and again ever so lightly with the plastic and get any sort of a little bit of a bubble there, a little bit of a bubble there. Okay. 
not perfect, but not bad. It's still covered. All right, here we go. Take this off the tripod so you can take a look, see at this. All right, we are back in the garage and out of my kitchen, which is gonna make my wife very, very happy. This is the finished product. The 3M tape is on. I don't know how well it will show up on the camera though, but let's just take a look here. I did just the down tube. That's all I really wanted to get done was just the down tube. Just for simply when I'm like taking this bike to the trails and I have to throw it in the back of my pickup truck, like over the tailgate. I didn't want to scratch it up. I mean, it looks, it looks all right. There's a couple of spots, a couple of air bubbles, but nothing, uh, nothing major, 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 I don't think. I'll try and get in really tight here so you can see. And again, this will just, uh, let's just protect the paint, you know, protect it from rocks, from tree roots. You know, me dumping the bike somewhere, who knows? Who knows what I'll do? But uh, this should should be okay. I hope it helps out. It wasn't too hard to do. Um, just gotta make sure you have it wet while you're doing it. Really wet, so you don't mess it up. Um, yeah, and I actually did a little bit of weird stuff. I don't know if I, if I had to, but I cut, I don't know if you can see. I'll try and bring it in here. But I cut on an angle, just so where, where the angles were, just. It just made it actually much easier to turn in. I also did it in three different spots, like three different parts. So here's the main top tube. This is another section and then the back section. So one, two, and three. So I'll get up really close so you can kind of see where they are. So right here, if we can make that out of the camera, that's the first split. And then there's the second split right here. And then just the back part. I didn't, I didn't put anything here, I was thinking about it. I saw some stuff left, so I might do there, but I don't know. This is all I was really caring about. Just right here, I thought here for trail use, and then probably here for, you know, throwing over the tailgate, over the tailgate pad. So, anyways, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this is uh, helpful, because all I really want to do is make videos to kind of help everybody out, and to bring the community of mountain bikers together. And again, like I always say in all my videos, I'm a local guy in Ontario, so if you ever want to go ride, shoot me a DM or a message or a comment, and maybe we can hook up and ride, and then I can film it on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again. Mm -hmm.